Hi, I'm Minister Ralph Friedrichs. Making a difference is my belief. Here is my challenge to everyone. I just want to challenge everyone, a challenge I'm also trying to live out. No matter how busy you are, there is always something you can do to brighten someone's day. Give someone a hug. Send a text with an inspiring quote. Friends, mail a heartfelt card. Tell someone how much you appreciate him or her. If we look each day presents us with opportunities to share kindness throughout the world, my core belief that we are called to not only love God and love people, but to carry out the Great Commission and share the eternal message of Jesus Christ. My goal is to help you reimagine your life and let go of the thoughts and behaviors that undermine you so that a renewed and fulfilled you can emerge starting today. We must love one another as God loves each and every one of us. To be able to love, we, my friends, need a clean heart. Prayer is what gives us a clean heart. The fruit of prayer is deepening of faith, and the fruit of faith is love. I hope each and every one of you remember to show compassion and have a, a great life ahead of you with Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, a minister, and the host of this show, The Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. Listen to us on iHeartRadio, iTunes, and Google Music. Friends, if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life crippled than to have two feet and be thrown into hell. Mark 9.45 Do you need <coughs> spiritual surgery this morning? Friends, in the book of Mark, Jesus makes a pretty radical statement. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. Now, Jesus' statement is not meant to be taken literally. Rather, he's speaking of radical spiritual surgery. In other words, it's intentionally cutting out the areas of sin, spiritual decay in our lives. Perhaps Jesus was referring to feet that tend to run towards activities that do not align with God's will or God's best for our lives. Or it could be feet that tend to run from responsibility. We don't know exactly what Jesus was referring to in this verse, but we know that Jesus was using the analogy to communicate the re very real danger of ignoring sin in our lives. One of my uh, uh, favorite books to this day is Lonesome Dove. In one scene, Gus is shot in the leg and gangrene sets in. The doctor tells him that amputating his leg is the only way to save his life. Left untreated, the infection will kill him. Even Gus's best friend pleads with him to let the doctor cut off his leg. However, Gus refused. Sure enough, he soon succumbs to the infection because he wasn't willing to deal with the infection in his legs. He lost his life. Sometimes a sin is so dangerous that it, if left untreated, it can eventually fatally infect our soul. Just like Gus's leg, that sin must be removed or we face the danger of death. Take an inventory this morning of your life. Where are you living from? Your own strength or for your own glory rather than in God's glory? Ask God to reveal the areas in your life where you need the great <coughs> doctor, God, to perform radical spiritual surgery. Start today and experience the freedom that comes from walking in God's free will, from sins and chains. Call me at 844-405. You and I, we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. And remember, always smile for your neighbors, for people down the road, because that might change their day, change their life, and you make a difference in your life. If you need surgery, uh, uh, a spiritual surgery, let God help you today. So you, he can help save your life before you succumb. Take good care, and we'll talk to you later.